Hello book people, my name is P.T. Hilton. Today we're going to take another trip into Hilton's Hall of Heroes. Hilton's Hall of Heroes is a monthly segment I do where we take a look at one of the authors that I love, that's, that's really influenced me, that I just can't wait to read, and that its writing just makes me inspired. We take a look at their bibliography, and I give you some suggestions on maybe where you want to start reading them. The first one of these was on Ira Levin. You can see the link to that down below in the description. Today, we're going to be tackling another one of my favorites, William Goldman. William Goldman is probably best known as a screenwriter. He's written a ton of classic movies. Um, I actually have a collection of his screenplays right here. I like to read screenplays. That's kind of weird, maybe, but I, I, I do enjoy reading screenplays. So you see here he wrote uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, The Princess Bride, Misery, Marathon Man. He's written a ton of other stuff uh, as well. Just if you, if you go to IMDb and look at his his the movies that he's been screenwriter for it's it's pretty amazing um, i've often heard him called the most famous screenwriter in america however we're not here today to discuss his screenplays we're here today to discuss his novels and what makes them so awesome the novel that he's probably most famous for definitely is the novel the princess bride but he's written quite a few other novels in a number of genres. And honestly, I think that might be part of the reason that he often gets overlooked as a novelist is that he doesn't focus on any one particular genre. He writes, you know, I guess you could call Princess Bride fantasy. He writes fantasy. He writes thrillers. He writes romance. He writes um, coming of age stories. He writes literary fiction. He writes all this stuff and he doesn't really stick to one genre. In fact, he hardly ever writes more than one book in a particular genre before moving on to another one. But what unifies his writing is the sense of excitement he brings to it all and the very creative way he has of telling stories. So I'm going to introduce you to a few of my favorite William Goldman books today. This is probably the book that I love by him the most that I would recommend um, everyone read and everyone check out. Pretty awesome, huh? I lost the dust jacket for this one. But it is Marathon Man. Marathon Man is the story of... A normal guy, he's a uh, wannabe marathoner, he's training for a marathon. Uh, I think he's going for his, his doctorate as well. Just a normal guy living his life. Um, very awkward guy, which is um, a trait that's very common in William Goldman books. Is like a regular guy who's not only regular, but like in a lot of ways below average. But this guy gets in way over his head. It's a case of mistaken identity. Before he knows it, he is dealing with things that he does not understand. I'm not going to reveal too much about it. I will reveal that there's an absolutely terrifying scene. The most famous scene from the book probably is the torture scene in which our hero is being tortured for information that he does not know. And he cannot convince his torturer that he doesn't have this information. Uh, it's an absolutely terrifying scene. And uh, I, I love it. Funny story, William Goldman says that uh, when he was writing this book, he uh, kept an office where he would go every day and write, and his neighbor next door would always give him crazy looks when he'd come out, and always seemed kind of scared of him, and he didn't understand why, until his wife revealed to him that he actually, when he writes, he actually says what he's writing out loud, which he did not know. So he was writing these crazy torture scenes and shouting it while he was writing it. But what really makes William Goldman great is the cleverness, the, uh, the unique way that he has of describing things. If you love The Princess Bride and you love the unique way that that took on kind of a fairy tale thing, I think you might like a book like Marathon Man. It's not gonna, it's not like Princess Bride at all. I mean, it's a thriller, but that same wit and that same brilliance for character is is at display here. And I think Marathon Man is a book that everyone should consider reading. Part of the fun for me of William Goldman is that many of his books are out of print. I remember when I was a kid and I was looking for, um, like for instance, Michael Moorcock books, I had a really hard time finding them. I couldn't just go on Amazon and find them. Nowadays, you know, it's pretty easy to find any book you want, but a lot of William Goldman's books are actually in out of print and you can, you can buy them at marketplaces and stuff like that. But uh, it's kind of fun that some of them are out of print. One of those that I like is called Magic. This is the story of a magician, a stage magician, sleight of hand artist, who uh, kind of goes up against some dark forces. And it's a very entertaining tale. And one thing I will say about William Goldman, he has a strange way of naming characters. Like, for instance, Marathon Man, the main character's name is Babe in that. And uh, Magic, the main character's name is Corky. Not that there's anything wrong with those names, I guess, but uh, not the, like, 
the standard like action hero kind of names. He does a great job of two things with his characters. He does a great job of presenting really weak characters who have one particular strength that comes into play in the in the book a lot. One particular skill or one particular resolve that they can draw on to defeat these crazy long odds. And then the other thing that he's really good at is describing exceptional people, people who are way above average. Um, so for instance, you have people like uh, Wesley and the Princess Bride or um, Indigo Montoya. And he does have kind of a funny trope that he does when he's introducing a lot of these really exceptional people. Like uh, when he's talking about the sword maker who is Indigo Montoya's father, he he has this whole thing where he's like, um, when the king wanted a sword made, he went to to this one particular sword maker who everyone in the land thought was the greatest sword maker in the country. But when that guy wanted a sword made, he would go to this other guy who that guy knew was the best in the world. And you think he's going to stop there, but then he says, but when that guy wanted a sword made, he went to Enigma Montoya's father. So he, he has a really creative and interesting way of, of describing exceptional people. The final thing of William Goldman I want to talk about is his nonfiction. He has um, two books that I want to highlight. One is called Adventures in the Screen Trade. And the other one, which I, I actually prefer a little bit, but I don't have a copy of handy, is Which Lie Did I Tell? These both are both kind of um, similarly structured in that the first half is basically his um, adventures, stories of how he came to write these different movies, different stuff that happened behind the scenes. But he tells it in such a creative and exciting and entertaining way. Everything he does, whether it's his fiction or his nonfiction, is just highly, highly entertaining, which is what's great about him. For anyone who's interested in kind of the craft of writing, I think Which Lie Did I Tell is an awesome book. Because after that first half, when he talks about kind of his adventures of, of these different movies he's been involved in, the second half, what he does is he um, writes a short screenplay basically in the book. He comes, he, he catalogs how he comes up with the idea, he catalogs, you know, his preparation, and then he actually presents the screenplay. But he doesn't stop there. What he does after that is he has a list of his famous screenwriter friends. He has, I think, uh, six different ones that he sends it to, and then he has each of them write a chapter, basically critiquing it, ripping it to shreds. He tells them in, in his description, please don't, don't pull any punches. I want you to completely rip this thing to shreds. And they do a great job of it. It's, it's really interesting and informative to see the way that they dissect his, his work and pull it apart. Very enlightening from a creative perspective to see these people who are like the top writers in Hollywood, the way that they're looking at these stories and pulling them apart and pointing out things that don't work that I never would have thought of before they start pointing them out. So that's William Goldman. As far as a place to start, I recommend either Marathon Man or The Princess Bride if you haven't read it. And please go ahead and check out my Ira 11 video as well. I'll be back next month with another addition to Hilton's Hall of Heroes. Have a great day. Bye.